Now the next step in this process is making sure that we have a good starting point for you because obviously as you can tell with that filtering we made in the last video of the Notion app system, which you can get for buying it or do it by making it along with me for free. This is filtered to me. So when you first start off in the system, how are you gonna be able to navigate a lot of these things without having a place to assign those settings? Well, let's make a settings page for that. So first of all, if we go to the structure page and just copy this for convenience, we can then go to the views setup and then we can make new template, change it to full width, open this up and call this settings. And then I'm going to do a little gear icon that looks similar to what settings are. And I'm gonna do a column two and I'm gonna paste this in here and tweak it to be the same width as the other pages that I've been working in. Now within the settings page, what you're going to do and this is just nice for convenience. So I'm gonna copy this, go back, paste, copy this, go back, paste these, drop this in here, drop this in here, delete some words. Then we got views and core and then databases. Then within this, we're gonna make two toggle blocks. Okay, and name them views and databases. Now, at the beginning of this, we set up exactly what we want to. So we can literally just go back here and I just did back a couple times. You can do control and back bracket to do that and then control and front bracket to move forward. I just pop this in here. Then I'm gonna go back to the databases one and do the same thing. Pop this linked view in here, hide that. And then unfortunately we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna do active views, change the filter to the proper naming convention, and then do archived and all. All views would not have any filtering on it. And then I'm gonna follow this exact same thing for the database one. And then now what I would recommend that you do is for aesthetic purposes, bold these, but I would then recommend that you take this and you copy it and you're gonna make a new call out block and you're gonna call it main navigation view. And it's going to be an indicator of what you as an individual person like to keep as your main navigation view so that you use this as the back end. like, all right, this is where I will have the navigation view that is preferential to me. So I'm gonna make another column two, paste this in here, slide it over a bit. And this is gonna be where you can make a decision. You have the choice to utilize this as a synced block so that if you change the sorting anywhere, it'll change it everywhere by doing this and then dragging these in, or you have the choice to have it sit out of there. And when you copy the sync block now, you can have it go onto all the different pages outside of the home page, since this is gonna have this structure, uh, actual page and not a link to it. And you can go, for example, and put it in pages like this so that any changes you make will change. Now it's your choice. Do you wanna have this little thing that kind of messes with the aesthetic? I don't know, but for the ease of me maybe messing things up and not wanting to have to go back and fix it, I'm gonna do that for me. So then if I go back to the settings page, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna have this set up everywhere. So now what you have is a nice little spot to edit your settings. So what does this mean? If we make a couple example pages here, and I'm gonna do that by making another example template after I do this. First, I'm gonna go new, press settings, make sure I'm assigned to it, make sure it's pinned, and I'm gonna make this sorting number eight, for example. And then I can delete this guy, and I'm gonna delete this example database too. And really quickly, I'm gonna copy this, and then make a new template called custom desktop, and then put a little eye emoji full with this guy. Column two, paste, drag, look at it like this. Make sure that it looks very similar sizing wise. Looks pretty similar. All right, now, anytime I want to make a new view, I can also, for ease of adding things, do column two and then paste. I'm gonna paste in what I actually have from the main setup. And that is just a quick call out blocks to send indicate that you should put in like databases here because views are linked databases of databases so that you can have specific dashboards and ways to look at different setups you have. Like content calendars can have specific things like your podcast, your blog on certain pages and maybe they're filtered to certain parts of the company. Whereas a database for a content calendar should be aggregated in the databases database. And then very similar to what we did with the custom desktop one, let's do a new template for databases. And I'm gonna just put an orbit symbol, call this new database. I'm also gonna go through and hide all these similar to what I did with the views in the last video. And then open this, make it full width, column two paste this synced block, and then I'm gonna do slash database inline, call it new database. And if you want to, you can add a little icon here for orbits. So then anytime you'd make a new database, it would 
populate in a new database with the sync block and navigation. So if I do this, press new database, you'll see that it popped in a pinned one and very quick and easy, I made a new page that is easy to navigate in. And then in the same circumstance, if I wanted to make a new database, that was active and not pinned, I'd be able to do that as well. Now you see here it populates the new database and if I go to the home page, this is here. I'm gonna make an example custom desktop view in the active section as well. You can see it populates right here. So now we're starting to get the framework of everything, right? And we can quickly start adding things like your task management, your project management, and all the other cool databases that are within the Notion app system. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the next time I drop that video about it. And also check out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.